Senator Joni Ernst says she's focused on traffic here. Now, here's an example. For perspective, there are three lanes here across this road in Des Moines. At the southern border that she was talking about, they have 10 times as many lanes here, but only three to five canine dogs that can try to go through some of the vehicles to check for drugs. Obviously, most of the vehicles go through without a dog checking it out. Last spring, Texas's Republican Governor Greg Abbott directed state troopers to inspect commercial vehicles coming into the state from Mexico, but the idea caused a week of backups, truckers waited for hours, and millions of dollars of produce went bad. Ernst says she knows that canines are not an immediate full solution, but they could be a start. It will take a while. That's why we need to start now. Um, this is low-tech technology. Dogs are about as low-tech as you can get, but they are one of the uh, best ways to find those drugs. So three challenges to this. It could cost $15,000 to train a canine. There are already a shortage of canines across our country. And then third, which might be a big one, Republicans are already fighting with the Biden administration about federal spending, so this would be prioritizing additional spending here at a time where they're looking to cut back. In Des Moines, Dave Price, WHO 13 News.